This YouTube hit landed Lana Del Rey on the map at the perfect time in her flowing career and became an indie rock sensation. Let's go behind the song. Del Rey wrote the song with Justin Parker, who came up with the eerie seesawing piano chords at the heart of the instrumental backing. When it came to the lyrics, the singer-songwriter looked to a pair of recent relationships. She told socialstereotype.com, the verse was about the way things were with one person, and the chorus was the way that I wish things had really been with another person, who I thought about for a long time. Del Rey paints scenes of domestic tranquility and socializing with friends 21st century style. Her days and nights are filled with beer, darts, billiards, and of course, video games. Her idea of fun came from these trivial pursuits with her strong-armed, fast-car-driving mystery man. The humanity comes in the chorus when Del Rey snaps out of her monotone and confesses the depth of her feelings with genuine longing in her voice. It's you, it's you, it's all for you, she sings, and you can't help but believe it. Del Rey gets her schoolgirl charm across by borrowing a line from Belinda Carlisle, Heaven is a place on earth with you. The undeniable hint of desperation in her voice when she sings the chorus is haunting. It allows the listener to feel as if the bliss of it all is fast and fleeting. Del Rey said, I know that it's a beautiful song and I sing it really low, which might set it apart. I played it for a lot of people in the industry when I first wrote it and no one responded. It's like a lot of things that have happened in my life during the last seven years, another personal milestone. It's myself in song form. Hype played a huge role in almost tanking Del Rey's career when she debuted her album Born to Die on Saturday Night Live with a shaky performance. But she rebounded with 2014's critically acclaimed Ultra Violence. It is a testament to Del Rey's talent and toughness. Video games propelled Del Rey into the spotlight and gave us the sad girl anthem we all love and gave her a strong start to a steady and impressive career. What do you guys think about the indie YouTube smash story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. For American Songwriter, I'm Amanda Mertz. <laughs>